Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, I hope you're well. So in today's video I want to talk to you about my brand new tripod setup. Now I do know I've mentioned this maybe a couple of times in the past, but um, we have moved away from ProMeD gear and I've actually gone over to Suru of all things. Um, now, my, now I say that because, you know, ProMeD gear are like, um, they're really um, well built and they're catered for professional use and I should turn my little light on over here. Uh, just as a little nice feel. So yeah, we're also using a different lighting setup compared to what I do normally use. I'm using a two additional lights, um, my Ellen Crom uh, Ranger Quattro units. So yeah, a nice little grid from above and also just a nice little bit of fill onto this wall right here. So it gives a nice little bit of added um, ambience to the room. So, and I've also got my interior lights as well on. So yeah, I've got quite a little lighting setup going on. So this has been my current uh, set up for the last five years. Now, just to zoom you out a little bit. So this is my Premier League Gear TR344. Uh, um, this is uh, one of their smaller tripods, but it does weigh in quite a bit. It weighs in at um, to about just under three kilos, or maybe it's no, just over, just over three kilos when I've got the leveling base on because tripod legs themselves are 1.8 kilos, just the legs on themselves, no head or anything. And with the head and the leveling base, that adds another 1.2 kilos on, into the mix. So, yeah, quite a heavy uh, uh, tripod setup. So, yeah, so that's the reason why I've been looking into other alternatives. Now, I do also have a bigger tripod by them. Um, which is this big guy now. I am not affiliated with Pro Media Gear whatsoever. I left them, um, I, what was it, in June this year, um, in 2023. And reason being is I need, things were changing, the way I was working was changing, and um, I it just no longer worked for me the way that they wanted me to work for them. You know, creating content for them um, just wasn't, it just didn't work. I was... I was struggling to find time on where to take the photos, you know, I bring you out on location, I do the shoot and everything, and I get so in, in of, um, I get so into it that I completely forget to create that content. Um, I think if I wasn't putting so much time and effort into creating my videos and I was putting more time and effort into creating content for them, um, then it would work, but obviously that goes against what I want to be doing. So yeah, I ended up leaving them and I needed something a bit more compact and lightweight um, and I didn't want to be shown uh, using their uh, other people's products when I've still got theirs. So yeah, um, I wanted to be as honest to them as possible. And by the way, my lighting setup is pretty cool. I got this light up above me uh, to actually cast a bit of nice light onto the tripod so it really sort of sets it apart. And yeah, as you can see, it works an absolute treat. So yeah, this tripod was actually my first landscape photography tripod. Um, yeah, this is actually weighs four and a half kilos. It goes to a maximum height of two meters. It's got a weight capacity of 65 kilos. Yes, that's right, 65 kilos. It can actually hold my body weight, which I'm 82 kilos. So when this is fully extended, it can easily hold my weight, no problems whatsoever there. And I think I'm gonna hold onto this tripod. Reason being, I know it's overkill for what I'm using it for. Um, but in the future, if I get into uh, large format photography or if I'm shooting in really windy conditions and um, there's a certain subject matter um, that I want to photograph and, and then maybe it's, you know, um, it's taken me days to get there um, and it's not something where I'll go back to um, and the winds are strong, this tripod will work over my new tripod that I've currently got. Probably the gear tripods are basically going, I'm not going to be using them much, but yeah, the big tripod will be keeping it around. But that brings me nicely on to my current tripod setup and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to sharing this with you. So after a lot of uh, four and deliberate, after a lot of thought and deliberation on the matter, I uh, came to the conclusion of getting a Suru tripod. Now I was looking at Novaflex and um, I was looking into the classic free ball head. Um, I can't remember the name of the legs. Um, they were carbon fiber, they're gonna be nice and short. And it came to about 150 centimeters, which I want. I want something around 150 centimeters in um, to the maximum height without a center column. And um, yeah, I was just looking and then it came, I was looking at how much it would cost and also I like with a leveling base and everything. And it came in at over $2,000 and I would have to buy from America because no, there's no suppliers here in Australia. Um, that I've currently been able to find. So yeah, 
Um, but yeah, so I settled on this tripod made by Suru. Now this is one of their more professional tripods and I must remember to breathe because right now I'm starting to get a bit breathless. <laughs> yeah, um, I've done so many takes of this and I don't want to waffle on and I feel like we're doing a really good job with this, this one. So yeah, this is made by Suru. This is their uh, professional line. It's the... Um, R2214X, so that's it right there, hopefully it'll focus. A nice little set of legs, and this is considered their more pro range tripod setup. Um, I actually really like this tripod. Um, now to adjust the legs, um, you've got to either pull it up from here, and then adjust, which feels a bit clunky to me, but probably what I'm gonna do is just push from the back here, and that can easily slip up, uh, lift it up, and then to adjust the angle, it nicely locks in, which I actually do like. The Pro Media Gear ones are more, um, I'll show you actually, instead of trying to explain it, they, you have to actually push them out and then to lock them into place, you've actually got to push it down. Now there's been a few times where I've forgotten that and um, yeah, I've been doing a long exposure and gone, oh, I really hope that doesn't move. You do have a little hook, if I can show that there. Um, now, normally what you would use that hook for is weighing down your tripod um, in case it's windy, but I would not recommend doing so. Reason being is when you've got your tripod weighed down, now you could, or you could eat, now there's another method you could do instead of putting your bag on there, um, but if you did put your bag on there, it, the bag starts to sway in the wind, then that's going to cause added vibration to go through your tripod, which you don't want. Now I have had someone suggest to me before, or I've overheard it, um, we're putting a, ro a, a string on here or some sort of guide rope and putting it down to a peg and then drilling that and tapping that down into the ground. Now I think that's a fantastic idea and that will really um, hold the legs down a lot better than actually uh, using your camera bag. Um, and putting a camera bag on there can be a bit fiddly as I found out once when I went to Cal Barry, I didn't want my tripod to move, it was actually the big tripod right down there, and um, yeah, I felt like it was even more prone to falling over. But yeah, um, yeah, great way that it's been designed. And also, this little guy here, the hook, has more than one function. So it's not just a hook, it's actually a screwdriver. So I'll untype do this, and this is what I love about this tripod. And I will show you as well, because I've got actually a center column that came with this. So what you do is you undo these three screws right here. There's uh, one, one there, um, and there's one on all three sides. So I'll undo that quickly now. And then that is easily able to be removed. Now, you might be wondering, well, why would that be useful? Well, you can easily add a center column, which they actually supply you with on this tripod, which I find is really, really impressive. So you've got this, I'll just zoom you out a little bit. So you've got that and it adds, uh, so I haven't clamped it down yet. I've tightened just one of the screws up. It'll just make it a little easier on me. So yeah. Um, so yeah, this allows me to adjust the center column up and down. And this allows me to get the maximum height out of this tripod. So without the center column, it is um, uh, 150 centimeters, but with the center column, it adds an extra 35 centimeters onto it, I think or maybe it's 190 centimeters, but yeah, all up. But yeah, really, really impressive with that. Um, I might not use this that much, and the reason why I say might, I'm not sure how it will go for long exposures. Normally, I would not want to use one uh, for my long exposures. Reason being is it's it's away from the, um, uh, what do you call it, the center, uh, central point. So this is the most stable position. When I have the, when they'll have the camera up here, it's more prone to sway, more prone to vibrations. But further, closer to the apex of the tripod, it's less prone to that. But um, also, I like to get down low sometimes, but this could, I don't really need to get down that low. So, but what I do like, as I said, it's really quick and easy to change out. And this also has another screw. This hook on the bottom here, the tripod, if I unscrew this, as you'll see, it's also another screwdriver. So this, I was wondering, you know, if I put the center column on um, and removed the, you know, the bottom um, base plate, what happens, how would I adjust the screws? Well, 
it's right there. That's what I need. It's got a little Allen key right there. And that's what you can do, we just adjust that. I think it's that one. Which one did we adjust? I think it was this one over here. Um, yeah, I think that's it right there. Oh no, not that one there. <laughs> um, and that's how we can release the center and remove the center column, which I really like. Premium did get, I didn't expect that on a tripod like this. Um, I'll just put the little tension of the little screw thing back in over there. Um, so yeah, I didn't expect it. It also comes with the leveling base. So you need to spend, you need to put by um, ball, the 75 mil ball is extra. But it's nice they actually include this. And now it doesn't actually work with my current Pro Media Gear tripod uh, leveling base, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, but I do like the look of the Suru ones. It gives you a bit of a longer handle under here, uh, which is very, very handy. Um, which I might use. I'll see how I go. I do like a leveling base though. Um, it makes it easier, especially when you're doing uh, panos and you want to set up nice and quickly. Though this tripod does have a nice lip bubble level right there. And it's really finished very nicely. I really love the black and the blue on this. We'll pop our ball head back in. Now, if I haven't mentioned, um, this is the um, K30 uh, Mark II ball head. Um, it's actually really nice. I've been using it on one of my recent trips away when we went down south uh, for a few days. Um, I was actually away for, I think it was about nine or 10 days in total. And um, yeah, the ball head just worked how I wanted it to work. Um, yeah, and as you can see, by the way, that's where it sits, this little screw thing. Um, let me see if I can, it feels a bit cheeky showing you up. It feels like I'm showing up the skirt. So uh, yeah, this slots into there and just screws in, which I absolutely love. The hook is multi-purpose, which is fantastic. And I'm pretty sure that is the same thread size to do the tripod legs. Yeah, it is. Oop. So yeah, if you wanted to, you know, adjust the tension on these tripod legs, maybe they're getting a bit looser or they're getting a bit tight, pop that in there and then you're able to adjust. So yeah, I won't do that with mine because I've adjusted the tension when I got them, they were a bit stiff and I like them a little bit loose, but not too loose to the point when they actually adjust themselves quite nice. So yeah, the K30 uh, ball head right here is their new one, um, really nice bull head, really nice and solid. And once you've got it locked down, it's uh, solid as a rock. Um, there's no more of those horrible rubber grips. Um, you know, the ones which uh, tend, when they get a bit hot, when they age, they start to uh, start to loosen up and it can make it really hard to uh, grab the ball head um, or to grab the knob. Um, and they've done the same with this. So they're all no longer rubber. Um, though it does feel like they've coated it in some sort of material because it's meant to be aluminium, but it really feels like there is some sort of rubber there. So it sort of plays with my mind. Um, you can see it's aluminium, but um, because you can see the, the cut marks in it from the machine, uh, from yeah the machines when they've uh, shaped this. But yeah, it just feels really, really nice in the hands. And as well, you've got the tensioner as well. So. What I didn't like about the Premier Giga setup, so there was no real tensioner there. Now they have BH50, I think it was. Now I did have a tensioner in there, but it tended to get quite knocked quite a bit and it just didn't work for me. Um, so I ended up just using the BH1 heads, which are these big guys right here. Yeah, these mammoth guys. So um, yeah, didn't end up using them that much, but yeah, these ones are just so nice. And to adjust the tension, what you do is you, so you clamp it all the way down and you work it out and then you back it off to where you want it to be and then you adjust this little screw. Now you can adjust the screw with uh, just your fingernails or what I found is just using my thumb, my finger and just rotating it around. And uh, you, yeah, so you can adjust the friction point that way. So if I've got a large setup, um, I adjust it accordingly, you know, depending on, so I can operate, I can move my camera one handed and if I'm, you know, holding this and I'm scared of it falling over, um, I can easily operate it in one hand, which is fantastic. So yeah, um, really nice clamp as well. So got the lice uh, clamp there. We've got a little level there on the on the on the plate, which is quite handy. And there's also side levels there. Um, a lot of those levels I probably won't be using because I tend to hook my camera onto the back here, so I'd never really see that. Um, the more m most likely one I'll use is this one down here. Um, it does have markings as well 
for like degrees if you can see that um hopefully you can and maybe i might zoom in a little bit more um so you'll be able to when you come to rotate the head you'll be able to see so if you're doing little panos or anything like that you will adjust that accordingly um but yeah nice knob this supports about 30 kilos which is great um the legs are super nice um seem to be on par with the pro media quality um, it looks like it uses a different weave um but it's still very very nice um really nice rubber legs as well grips and everything right here um all it takes is a quarter turn so you can see right now can't remove it or can't move it quarter turn and it moves effortlessly it's so nice and smooth and you can service these legs as well so if i undo it all, all the way you'll see i can easily remove the leg right there and it's got the little guide on there as well which is uh, so the leg doesn't rotate and makes it easier so yeah and keeps the leg more stable in the le while it's in the tripod so yeah really nice and it seems to be a lot more robust than the ones in the promedia gear one which is great um yeah so not really much to say on it, it just i'm really looking forward to getting out there and shooting with it buying this tripod um has minimized the weight by one uh, was it oh, just over a kilo i think um, this weighs in, uh, oh no, just, I think we saved about a kilo, which in tripod terms is a, a huge amount. And if I compare it to the bigger tripod and if I use the center column and everything, I've saved myself, what, um, about two kilos or two and a half kilos. So yeah, pretty shocked with that. Um, so yeah, I'll be using this from here on out. This one will get cleaned up, serviced, and I will list it up for sale. Not sure how much I'm going to list it up for. I've got to think about that. This is quite an expensive tripod, but I also want someone to get a good deal and someone to enjoy the tripod and um, get some good use out of it and also help out a fellow photographer. So if I find someone who's uh, maybe sort of struggling or wanting to take their photography to the next level and I feel like they're going to really benefit from it, then I will give them this. I'll not give them this, but I will charge them for it maybe a thousand dollars or something. It's a two and a half thousand dollar tripod. So yeah, buying it new, but yeah. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting out with this, the Suru. You will be seeing it on many more adventures. And um, if you are interested in any Suru gear, now I don't know if this is sponsored, I don't know, but um, I guess I guess we could say it is sponsored um, uh, because I am affiliated with Suru now. So if you buy anything or you're interested in any Suru gear um, and you live here in Australia, head down into the description below um, and uh, use the link um, in, in the description um, over to Suru and um, that will allow me to earn a little bit of money back from sales. I'm not sure how much because I don't really know the details, but um, it just helps me out do what I love to do. And yeah, I, I, this I did purchase with my money. Oh, I should mention as well. So the cost, the bull head was about $260, which in my terms is, in my books, is cheap. Um, and the legs were just over $560. So I got that on a little special. So yeah, not a bad setup. We're looking at what, uh, almost $800 here, um, or just over $800 to be fair. Uh, but I'm really happy with this and I'm really looking forward to getting out there and using it. So yeah, um, I think that's everything. I keep saying that because I'm trying to think if there is anything. It, it's, it's a tripod. It's very, very basic. We're going away from a big, heavy tripod setup. We are making a compromise on stability and a little bit of quality. But I don't think it's going to be that bad. So, yeah. Anyway, I better end this video because I feel like I've been talking for absolutely ages. So, anyhow, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. If you'd like to see more videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you've got any questions or you'd like to say anything, pop it down in the comment section and I'll do my very best to get back to you. Anyway, I'm Simon and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye for now.